In this video, I'm gonna take a look at the RX operators take and take while. So I'm still following along with the course on my website, the RX Java and RX Android course for beginners. Uh, and, and I'm at the take and take while lecture right here. So take is, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, you wanna use it in conjunction with another operator. Uh, for example, the, uh, the from iterable operator. And you can say, you know, apply the from iterable operator. I'll scroll down so you can see it. And uh, I wanna apply that operator. And then I only wanna take three of the uh, objects that are emitted, and then it will just emit three of them. So I'm actually not even gonna put this in Android Studio because it's just, I think it's very self-explanatory. Uh, if you don't know what the from iterable operator is, uh, there's a lecture on that right here. So you're gonna wanna watch that. But uh, basically, yeah, it just creates, uh, it emits objects from, observable objects from the uh, list that it was created from, and then you can call take three to just take a, a certain amount of them. And there's three of them printed out in the log output there. So take while, I've actually already used this operator in a couple other of the lectures. I think I, um, I think I used it in the interval and timer one, maybe in the callable one. Definitely, I think definitely in the interval and timer one I used it. Uh, as in, in the video anyway. Uh, but basically what that does is it uh, adds a condition to the objects that are emitted. So once again, we have that from iterable operator creating a list of objects. And then I wanna say take while, so I wanna take only certain objects, continue taking objects until you reach a task that is complete. And if you look at the output here, it only prints one. It only prints one because if you look at the create tasks list, uh, method here, uh, it's it's looking for a task that is complete, and then as soon as that task, as soon as a, uh, this, it's basically as soon as this test returns true, this test method, it will stop, and it will stop emitting objects. So you see that um, the first one is true. So there's the, the true Boolean. Um, if I was looking for false, it would emit two, but the first one's true, and it's looking for any true value, so it stops at that point. Uh, once again, I think I'm also just going to, I can put it in Android Studio, why not? I'll copy this, go to Android Studio. I'm gonna paste that in. And uh, I'm gonna take a look at this and uh, kind of just explain it. So I'll, I'll erase this. I'm applying the take while operator Then I need to use a new predicate, which is a test. And I wanna say, take the items that are emitted from this observable and, or sorry, take the objects that are emitted from this observable. No, take the objects from the list and emit them until this test returns uh, true, basically. So, uh, or take 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 it while it's true, while, while this condition is true. So if I go task dot is complete, it only returns, it's only going to return a single object, so it's gonna emit a single object because the first one is true, but the second one is false. So I'm gonna keep emitting objects until is complete is false. So if I was to change this to true and change this to false, what you'll see is take out the trash, walk my dog, and then it becomes false, and at that point it will stop. So if I run it, we should see those two objects uh, emitted. So let's see, there's the log, and there's take out the trash uh, right there, and then walk the dog. So that's how it works. It's a pretty, pretty simple operator. Uh, so now in the next one, we are gonna work on, oh, we're gonna move on to transformation operators. So this is gonna be the next uh, sort of category of operators. Uh, the transformation operators, which are a lot of them are very useful and you'll definitely uh, be using them a lot. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of them. You know, there's map, buffer, debounce, throttle first, uh, flat map, concat map, and switch map. So I'll see you in that next video.